Does seasonality really have an impact on commodity calendar spreads? The short answer is yes. This video provides evidence to answer this question. I have been trading seasonal spreads for the past 14 years. During this time, I have observed the impact that seasonality has on calendar spreads. However, I've often wondered how to verify and document the impact of seasonality. This is important because seasonality is my number one factor when making trade decisions. To that end, I started tracking actual trades placed in personal and client accounts and comparing the spread price change to the front month outright price change. The data set began in October of 2021. Currently, there's 210 trades in the data set. This tracking is cumbersome, but very enlightening. The results are aligned with past experiences and observations and clearly shows the seasonal impact of calendar spreads. Getting the market direction right is critical for outright purchases because the win rate is directly proportional to market direction. Getting the direction right results in a profit 100% of the time. Likewise, getting the direction wrong results in a loss 100% of the time. With spreads, market direction is still important, but to a lesser degree. For the analysis, market direction is considered either right or wrong, right meaning that the direction is aligned with the spread. Also, the spread either wins or loses, meaning it's either profitable or not profitable. Based off these criteria, there are four possible outcomes as shown below. Note that the best case scenario is when the market direction is wrong, meaning it's moving against the spread, and the spread still wins. The worst case is when the market direction is right, but the spread loses. For this data set, the best case occurs 28% of the time, while the worst case is just 7%. This is a 4 to 1 ratio in favor of the best case. Looking at this another way, Note that we got the market direction correct just 41% of the time. Note also, though, that the spread won 62% of the time. Either way you look at it, we see the same 21-point advantage between spread profitability and market direction. Please note that trading futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results, and there are no guarantees of profit no matter who is managing your account. So given that we only got the market direction correct 41% of the time, does market direction really even matter? If we add spread profitability to the market direction pie chart, we see that spreads are highly profitable when we get the market direction correct. For this data set, the profit is just over $35,000. Note that all profit presented are net of all fees and commissions. We also see that spreads are not profitable when we do get the market direction wrong. In this case, the loss is just over $10,000. Breaking the data into five point increments, we see that there is a somewhat normal distribution. However, the middle point of the curve has 57 occurrences and is in the 0 to negative 5% level. Breaking it down by profitability, the 0 to negative 5% bucket is still profitable. This shows that spreads are profitable even when the market direction moves against us up to about 5%. In fact, the lines cross somewhere between 5% or negative 5% and negative 10%. On the next page, I'll show you an example of a trade that falls into this zero to negative five percent bucket. Let's look at one of many examples when the spread gained despite getting the market direction wrong. On November 28th, I sold a cocoa calendar spread for negative nine dollars. On January the 20th, the cocoa spread closed at negative thirty five dollars for a 26 point gain. That's $248 gain with fees and commissions. Note that selling a spread profits when it gets less positive or more negative. 
In this case, it went from negative 9 to negative 35. This is a modest gain, but very nice given the market direction. Looking at the front month March contract for the same dates, March Cocoa was trading at 24.84 when the trade was opened and closed Friday, January 20th at 25.69. This is a 3.4% increase in the underlying outright contract. So how is it possible that the underlying outright went up and the spread still was profitable? The March contract increased 85 points, but the July contract gained 111 points, or 26 points more, thus enabling the $248 gain with commissions and fees. As shown earlier, the opposite can also happen. However, in my experience and in this data set, the best case scenario happens over twice as often as the worst case. You can participate in the spread edge strategy in two ways. Both involve your broker, your account, and your money. This can be done through a subscription service where you place the trades yourself based on the recommendations posted in advance in the weekly newsletter, or through a professionally managed account for the standard management and incentive fees. Both options have identical trades and strategy. That's all for now. Please like, share, and subscribe. To subscribe to the newsletter, go to www.spreadedgecapital.com forward slash products.